Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Research Like a Pro with DNA question and answer series. Today, our question is about making descendancy diagrams, specifically with the program Lucid Chart. And sometimes we come across difficulties adjusting shapes and lines in Lucid Chart. And that's one of the challenges of the program is you have to draw lines and shapes and move them around. But it also is one of the things that gives lucid chart flexibility and power to create these unique diagrams, especially where we have unique situations that we need to map out. Well, let's go over some tips for adjusting shapes and lines. So the first thing I wanted to bring up is that when you are working on a, net, on a diagram, it helps to zoom in close enough so that you can click on exactly what you want. And you've probably had this experience where you try to click on a line, but you click on the shape and they're all really close to each other. And so I found that it's really helpful to quickly be able to zoom in and out. So if you haven't become familiar with the zoom options, I'll just go over each of them. So you can do it three ways. You can click on, um, you can hold down the control button on your keyboard and then use your mouse wheel to zoom in. If you wheel forward and backward to zoom out. Another thing that I use a lot is the percentage and the plus and minus in the bottom right of the lucid chart canvas. And uh, you can see what percentage you're at. You can click on that percentage to change it. You can just zoom in with the plus or zoom out with the minus. And then there's also the option to do this at the top under menu and just click view on the menu and then zoom in or zoom out are the top two options. So that's about zoom. And I'll show you a couple of screenshots of that. And then the other thing for adjusting shapes and lines that I want to point out are that there are kind of two sets of colored dots and squares for shapes. And the blue square handles that appear when you click on a shape or line allow you to uh, resize it, basically. So if you click on one of those, you can drag it and then resize the shape. Same with a line. And then there's also the red circles that appear when you hover over an object. And so when you click on the red circle or node, that allows you to draw a line from the shape. And if you click and drag, you can draw the line however you want. If you just click and release the red node, then a default line will be drawn and you'll have an auto prompt window that opens and lets you choose a new shape, which I like to use a lot. So let me show you all these things with screenshots. So first zooming. So the zooming option at the bottom right, when you click on the percentage, you can zoom to the content, zoom to the width, zoom to the page and reset the zoom is the last one that you can't see. And then if you wanna just plus or minus the zoom, you can do that here too. So these are all helpful options. And sometimes I wanna quickly zoom out to see the whole page. And other times I want to zoom in just to um, the width of my chart. Okay, onto the blue squares. So when you click on an object or a line, you'll see blue squares highlighting the edges or the border of the shape. And clicking on this one will allow you to elongate the shape this way. Just like usual when resizing shapes, if you click on the corner shape, you can make the whole shape bigger by dragging it up into the right. And um, same thing with all the other. So it's important to zoom in close enough to be able to see these clearly and to click on them precisely. Then if you want to draw lines away from a shape, you can hover your mouse over a shape and then you'll see these red nodes appear. And when you click on one of those red nodes and drag the line and hold your mouse down, then you can drag it and create a different kind of line than the default line. The default line is just to go straight out and stop. Then when you're done drawing the line, this auto prompt window opens and it has some of the shapes that you already have in your diagram. So if you want to add another green shape or another blue shape, you can quickly click on that and then you can connect that shape to your diagram. Otherwise you can click these other shapes or you can just click out of that auto prompt window to not choose any of those shapes. And that's what it looks like when the line is selected. If you want to delete that line, just click on the line. You'll know it's selected when you can see blue surrounding it like this and the blue square nodes 
And you can make the line different or longer by clicking on this blue square and moving it. Or you can just hit delete on your keyboard to get rid of the line altogether. You can select other lines and sometimes it's hard to see or imagine what the line is because it's connected to another line. So these are actually two separate lines. When I click this line, you can see that this is the line that's selected. So deleting that will delete this part of the line. But this part of the line overlaps with this line as well. So then this line will still be there. So this part of the line will still be attached to the shape. And so it might be helpful to just practice clicking on different lines and seeing what's highlighted. If you want to select all the lines and change them all to be thicker or a different color or dotted lines, you can go up here to the top and click select all lines. And when you do that, you'll see that all the lines are selected and there'll be a box kind of around them showing that these are all selected at the same time. Then you can go here to the line style on the toolbar and you can choose a dotted line. So if, if I haven't proven any of these relationships and I wanna to remember to check them, I can just change them to dotted lines. Other times you may want to make the line thicker or um, make it a different color. You can make it thicker by clicking on the two PIX, which stands for pixel and pressing the up arrow to make it thicker to be more pixels. Now, if you want to select all the shapes, you can go back to the select menu option and click all shapes. And then all the shapes will be selected. And I actually just wanted to select all of these shapes. I didn't want to select my title shape. So you can deselect a shape by holding down the control button on your keyboard and then clicking on the shape you want to deselect. So I deselected the title and now I just have my diagram selected. And then there's a lot of things you might want to do with all the shapes selected. You can change the border so that there's no border color. And you can do that right here with the pencil and the line and then choose no color. You can also change the fill of all the shapes to be no color. And if you do both of those steps, then all of a sudden you have no lines and no colors, a very simple chart. So sometimes I like to use this type of diagram in my final report. That doesn't mean that this diagram wouldn't be acceptable in my final report. Either one would be great, but sometimes it's just simpler, especially if you're printing it or sharing it with people who are going to print it and they don't have color to just do it like that. So the takeaways are in Lucidchart, zoom in close enough so that you can click on exactly what you want. There's the red nodes and the blue border squares, which have different functions. The blue square handles appear when you click on a shape. The red nodes appear when you hover over an object. So hopefully these small tips will make it easier to create your descendancy diagrams in Lucidchart. Any questions? about diagramming with Lucidchart? Yes, we do have one question. Does creating the line and holding down the mouse work with moving a curved line? Yes, when you hold down, so when you click and drag to create a line, there's some default lines that appear and if you can do a straight line. If you move up, it will add a little bend in the line. And, so it's not exactly going to turn out. It keeps the line kind of straight and adds in little bends. So it's not like just drawing whatever you want. It's drawing a straight line with a couple curves or bends. And you can adjust that later by moving the little blue um, handles that are in the middle of the bend. So if you wanted to have different type of line, you would have to select the line and change the type of it in the top. Okay, great. And um, another comment that there is another diagramming tool out there, YED, which could be another one to try. So it's fun that there are new tools that come out with diagramming. Great, thank you. Mm -hmm.